U.S. denies building Pacific NATO against China. The U.S. is not working to create a NATO for the Pacific as a way to target China, the White House has claimed, after President Joe Biden declared a new era of security cooperation with South Korea and Japan. Biden hosted Japanese Prime Minister Fumio Kishida and South Korean President Yoon suk yeol at Camp David for the first summit of its kind, where the heads of state agreed on several new initiatives in the military, economic and technological spheres. This is the first summit I've hosted at Camp David, and I can think of no more fitting location to symbolize our new era of cooperation, Biden said at a joint press conference, adding that Washington's commitment to Seoul and Tokyo remains ironclad. The US president went on to state that the three allies would enhance their trilateral defense collaboration in the Indo-Pacific region, including with annual multi-domain military exercises. The drills would build on periodic war games already staged in the area which have triggered the ire of both Chinese and North Korean officials. During a separate media briefing, National Security Advisor Jake Sullivan was asked whether the three-way partnership would be the beginning of some kind of mini-NATO for the Pacific, but replied in the negative. It's explicitly not a NATO for the Pacific. We've said that. We will continue to underscore that and so will both Japan and Korea, Sullivan said, adding that the summit was not against anyone.